Okay, so, I mean, I have only been in two relationships in my whole life. I was with someone for a long time and then I kind of fell into a new relationship. So this is really weird for me. Um, do you feel the same, like, about these kind of things? Yeah, well, I find it pretty interesting. Like, I, I prefer to be in a relationship myself, but there has been times in the past where I have been single and sort of not so much slept with a lot of people, but certainly dated a few people. And that sort of gave me a, I think maybe a bit of a bad impression um, that people sort of thought, oh my God, that girl's such a slut or whatever. And then um, a few interviews, at one stage I decided that it might be really cool to say I was a bit of a sex addict. And I sort of got slated by the press for it and stuff. And because obviously if you say that you're a sex addict, people think you're so nuts, you just like fuck anyone that, anything that moves. But I wasn't like that, I just more or less meant I'm quite a sexual person and if I'm with someone I like to have sex with that person a lot. But um, yeah, my, my sex column is actually kind of suffering at the moment. It's just, I don't know, it's, I, I'm sort of running out of racy stories and it's kind of just sort of, I, I need more, more views on relationships other than my own, which I think, you know, you've got some pretty interesting views that might be interesting for readers and stuff and a different viewpoint from, from my own but um, you know if I start using all, all your sort of ideas in the column and it will really help me with my work and, and the column probably could go back to the amazing you know, amount of viewers and stuff it did have that, that could become a real problem what problem is that? Well, because if somebody helps me out with my work and sort of, you know, gets me back out there again, you know, I could become very attracted to that person. She's giving me I cut. <laughs>